Hello, welcome to Sky Sweaty Record Review, episode 143. The only first listen new music review show hosted by a French professor immediately after leaving the YMCA. I'm in my backyard again with my broken down deck. Uh, I do this because the light is fading. It's like nine o'clock and I've just been listening to an album called Work by Holy Ghost. They're called Holy Ghost with an exclamation point. So I assume you have to pronounce it, Holy Ghost. And uh, I don't usually do this, but I actually have my sort of two, three word review already set. And I'm gonna work backwards. As opposed to working up to that review, I'm gonna work, I mean, to that summation. I'm gonna work from the summation backwards. So the thumbnail to this video is going to read, Pastiche Plus. It'll say it like right under there. Yeah, I'll hold it up. Pastiche Plus. Now let me explain what that means. First of all, the word pastiche has kind of a negative connotation, right? Um, I actually did a little bit of homework here. I looked up the etymology. That is not the study of insects. It's the study of words and their origins. Uh, pastiche comes, it means a medley made up of fragments from different works. From French pastiche, the 18th century, Italian pasticcio, medley pastry cake. From Latin pasticcium, composed of paste. It's the same word that brings you pasta. So things kind of put together. And the word pastiche is usually like a word that a lazy critic will use to just put something down when there's anything derivative of it. So that's why I wanted to add plus. Because I think that, I don't know, we live in a super postmodern day where almost everything is to some degree a pastiche of something else. There's very little new anything coming out. Most of the things that we have that are new are interesting combinations of things that are old. And I would say this album fits in that genre. Um, I would even call it a part of the random access memories genre. So the Daft Punk album that came out in 2013, the best album of the decade, I think. Uh, an amazing example of what a band can do to make something totally new out of pre-existing elements. Maybe it was because Daft Punk made it anachronistic. They released a disco album when disco was dead. Maybe it was because of the number of different disco artists that they had on, Giorgio Moroder and Niall Rogers, and just the, the, the different sounds that they had. But they started this revolution where a lot of artists started to look back to the sort of soft rock of the 80s, the disco of the 70s, and tried to make it new. Use the technology that was at that point brand spanking new and is now kind of old and turn it into something more interesting. So I wouldn't really say though that this reaches the heights of a Daft Punk album, um, but I would put it actually more in line with Justice. So Justice is yet another French duo and they seem to always be one step behind Daft Punk. And I don't mean that in a bad way, like in a good way. I mean, being one step behind them is still being ahead of most. And uh, their album, Woman, is this great disco album, very much apparently a, a response to what Daft Punk was doing. And I felt that a lot listening to this record uh, by Ho Holy Ghost. Uh, it's, it's primarily disco, right? Sorry, I just got distracted. My dog was eating a pencil. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything about it now. Maybe I'll show you the, the remnants of it at the end of the video, if you're lucky. Um, so it's the, prim the primary element of the pastiche is this kind of retro disco, this postmodern, post-Daft Punk disco. Uh, if you play like the first track, Epton on Broadway, part one, you get that sense very quickly. I'll play it for you a little bit here. That's a pretty good example of how the whole album sounds. Very solid, new disco music. But it's not just that. I mean, it starts off with this kind of tight groove justice thing. Um, they do a lot of nice stuff with arpeggiators and, and working them in on later tracks. And then like a, a track called Heaven Knows What, it, I'm like, is this like an old Hall and Oates song? And it just got me thinking about how weird the world is now where like bad soft rock from the 80s. If it's being done in the 2019s, then all of a sudden it has some kind of extrinsic additional value. And so that's actually a track I, I really like. I don't know, just you know, like Chromio and, 
and, and these guys, and, and even random access memories. It's like all this music that I would have just turned off immediately in the 90s because I was into, you know, real rock and roll, uh, somehow has new value. It's, it's a weird phenomena which I think deserves more study. Like, like, like now when I hear Phil Collins on the radio, I, I don't turn it off. What, what happened? It's not just that I'm old, which is also true. Hmm. Oh. Damn it. I s these videos outside, I'm always killing bugs. Dogs are eating pencils. Okay. Um, and then there's like the song Do This, which is, I mean, basically sounds like an outtake to Random Access Memories. I mean, it has the Nile Rodgers guitar where the guitar player's playing like a lead line and a rhythm line at the same time. Here, I'll just play a little bit. But you know, it's joyous, right? It's jo My main problem with it actually is that it's not quite joyous enough. The singers, they're a little too breathy. I don't quite get that like meaty singing, like, mm, and like there's no lyrics that I pick out of anything on the entire album. I say, that song a little bit more. He's like, you shouldn't go home with some woman. But for the rest of it, it's all just a little too in the ether. Um, uh, then there's an interesting track um, that's basically just a New Order track, and that's called uh, My Happy House. And it's excellent. It's one of my favorite tracks on the album. Uh, but again, it's this kind of pastiche where you're like hearing a sort of Daft Punk Now Rogers song. They have another track that sounds like a Daft Punk uh, Giorgio Moroder song. Um, which one was that? Um, I'm just looking up. Oh, the song Anxious has that kind of feel with the, the arpeggiator going and the way it goes along with the click track. Um, and the best track, though, is maybe the least derivative of anything else. It's called Slow Burn. And I'm just going to play you one particular part, sort of towards the end. And this is something that doesn't happen consistently on the album, but occasionally on the album, where, like, towards the end of the song, you know, they'll do, like I often like, something different some kind of bridge or instrumental interestingness. And this shows the best of their production. And in the event that this band, Holy Ghost, watches this video, uh, I would say to focus on this, because they're doing really interesting things here, mixing together all of the instruments the way that they do, having a chorus, they, the way this whole song is produced, it's, it's kind of a, a level above most of the rest of the album. Uh, so I'll play you just a little bit of the song uh, slow burn, two minutes and 50 seconds in. That has that, a little bit of that Giorgio Moroder feel as well. It's nice, right? And you hear that, all these things mixing in together, really well textured, and I like it quite a bit. So there you go. I already told you what my three-word review is going to be. Pastiche Plus. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I even like this that much. I don't dislike it. You know, I, I wonder like if I listen to it more, would I hear more things, would I pick up more things? It's sort of, maybe just through the vocals, has a little too much, maybe not enough for me to hold on to. Like at the end of that song, I love that, just because those weird sounds and coming in the production all going together. But I don't know. Pastiche Plus. All right, I'll take you to show you what, what my dog did to this pencil, just because it's kind of interesting. You know, he'll probably come up too. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, oh no, not you, not again! Ah. All right, there's the camera.